Hey folks, Lionel here with Cowboy Boots, Hats, and Western Life Enthusiasts. Today's video is going to be the Battle of the Straw. On my left here, I have an American 5200, and on my right, I have a Resist All Conley 20X. Both of these hats are the most sought after straw hats in the business, but there can only be one winner, folks. Which one is it going to be? Well, let's get into it. Let's go ahead and start with the American Hat Company 5200. So this 5200 for uh, ventilation uses a chevron type pattern along with little steel inserts. Matching up to that is the hat band, which is basically also a steel string hat band. Uh, so matching the color of the inserts for the ventilation. On the back you have American Hat Company patch and Positive Times patch. Now those are optional. What isn't optional though is the American Hat pin, which I do love. It comes with every single American Hat Company hats. And also on the inside you have a lambskin sweatband, which looks really awesome uh, and is very comfortable. Also you have the bow in the back and you have the American Hat Company patch on the inside of the crown and this is a 20 star which is the highest lineup in the American Hat Company for their straw series now on to the resist all Conley the Conley for ventilation is using multiple diamond patterns everywhere on the hat for the uh, band they are using a black band this particular one comes with a turkey feather but that is not something that does come with the hat this uh, turkey feather was added by me so if you guys want a turkey feather you guys can go ahead and get it for any hat now on the inside for the sweatband you got a black cowhide leather sweatband this is part of their tough enough collection you have the resist all patch on the inside of the crown and also you do have a bow to identify the back of the hat now this one is a 20x and also is part of the top of the line of the resist all straw line all right so let me just start by saying that both these hats are uh, among the top of the line in their respectable brands uh, this being the 20 star and this being the 20x uh, both of these hats are going to come in uh, open crown and open brim so you guys could have it shaped uh, however you want now there's one that is the clear winner uh, for me uh, it's going to be the American I'm gonna let y'all know that ahead of time and I'll tell you all the reasons why um, so to start off with, both these hats are using the same material, uh, the same initial material. It's all going to be Shantung uh, straw, and basically, that is uh, going to be the same exact material uh, as far as that. That is not really what uh, makes the hat superior to another. Uh, it is basically down to the other materials that they are using and also the biggest part is the lacquer now when we did the American hat factory tour and if you guys haven't seen that video y'all could go ahead and check it out the one place we were not allowed to go is in the lacquer room because they have this special lacquer and it is really awesome and if I had a lacquer like that I would not want anybody to know about it that's why nobody is allowed so we couldn't film in there but uh, I could promise you this from wearing a hat it is a very special lacquer um, and it is known throughout the industry how special the American Hat Company lacquer is uh, so besides that I'm gonna go ahead and 
show you guys some of the key things that makes this hat uh, better than this one, uh, in my opinion. Now, the one thing is uh, the lacquer, okay? So we just talked about that. Now, the lacquer is something special. Uh, one of the ways you are going to feel the lacquer is uh, if you're ever driving in your car and you got the windows down like I do, you can feel this hat moving up and down, uh, kind of flapping in the wind a little bit more than this one. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, I don't know if, you, if the hat is flapping like that. Doesn't that mean that this resist all is sturdier than this American? Well, no, it does not. Um, as far as sturdiness... This is just as sturdy as this. Uh, they're both they're both very sturdy. Uh, you know the weaving was done perfectly on here. It this one has a very good weaving as well, but this one was done really well. Uh, but the lacquer is what makes it move. Now uh, this lacquer, uh, this flapping in the wind that is occurring due to the lacquer, is the same thing that allows this hat to shape so easily so if you ever had uh you know your your, your hat shaper saying hey i love shaping american hats they, they're, they're like butter and then they harden up really nice well that's what they're talking about folks they're talking about that american hat lacquer uh that does that now i work rodeos and i've seen um you know the guys you know they they, they get some of their hats stomped and then with an American hat, they just go out, you know, they, they shape it back up and it's not like you. And your hat, after it gets stomped by a bull or by a horse or by even a human, let's just admit it, it ain't ever going to be the same. But it being a little bit more supple uh, will actually go back to normal a little bit better. It'll never be back to the way it was but it'll look good enough to at least finish another season with it and to kind of have your hat for a little longer than something that is as stiff as this and maybe might not shape back uh, as nice looking. Again, if you don't care about that, then that's fine. But I mean, I've had my hat in, in rodeos, even working them, not even riding bulls, but you know, get hit by that deal that you know picks up the rope, the, the, the stick. Uh, from under the bull and my friend was passing it to me and then knocked out my my uh, American 6100 off my head and nothing happened to it uh, he apologized to me but it happens it's 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 part of the game but let's say somebody was to stomp on that hat and thank God uh, that didn't happen but you know it would be fine I mean I would I would have it reshaped a little bit and and, and everything will be fine so that's a very good good thing um, now they claim that you know you guys could do the same thing with that but I just don't see it looking as good as if you do it with this one due to the lacquer and uh, the flexibility that this one has now another thing is um, with the lacquer being so great is uh, how the hat conforms to your head so being that the lacquer is a little softer when I put this hat on, it feels stiff, where it doesn't conform to your head very well. So it's kind of like the difference between wearing a pair of Stingray boots or a pair of ostrich or goat skin. That goat skin is going to feel nice. It's going to be tough, but it's going to conform to your foot. So is that ostrich. But as soon as you put on one of them Stingrays, it just happens that it's tough as could be and it just does not want to conform to your foot at all and you know if it doesn't fit right well sorry that's your deal that ain't going to ever conform nice this is kind of almost the same deal with that it just has a hard time you have to sweat in it a bunch you have to wear it for a little longer in order for it to sweat good and to and to uh, or to conform good and it just it, it, it doesn't work as well um now, another thing with American hat compared to this resist all is the finish. So, if you look at the finish on this American hat, uh, you'll see that there's pretty good perfection. All the weaving is great and perfect. 
uh, nothing's really out of line and where it really shines is right here in the ventilation you guys can see all the patterns in the ventilations are all the same and they got some pretty intricate uh, uh, thing going on with this steel which would be easy for it to mess up you know all this steel string right here but everything is perfect all the holes and the symmetry are just really well done and that just makes the hat look awesome uh, and you know you want a, the hat to look awesome I mean you just paid good money for the hat you want to look awesome if the hat looks awesome well most likely you'll look awesome also the finish on the end of the brim it's really well done it's not sticking out too much at all now picking up the resist all those weaves are not as tight at all uh, and also the end of the brim the lining on the end of the brim kind of just shows a lot more uh, so it's not as well finished out to me especially in the front of the brim uh, I'm not sure if the camera could pick up on that but y'all could see it also another thing you see all those diamond pattern every one of these holes in a diamond pattern they're not really finished out that well some holes are a little bit bigger than the others and it just kind of shows a little bit of lack of uh, finishing and craftsmanship uh, you know like I said um, it almost seems like the hat does not have to be perfect and for some of you folks again those are not things that are really that important but I mean if you're gonna spend all that money on the hat why not have it look as perfect and nice as possible uh, I think you know that again shows in the quality another thing um, that I see is the finishing on the leather band first of all the leather band is a goatskin leather band or lambskin I'm sorry folks it's lambskin and that lambskin just really feels nice another thing that conforms a little bit nicer um, it just feels very soft and you know something that's sitting on your head you want it to feel as nice and soft and you know kind of conform as possible just so it could fit right and this is just finished out really well and there's no flaw in it it's just it just fits right now when you're looking here um, at the resist all the lining here is actually finished out good Le the leather band is stitched in perfect uh, one of the things I will say is this uh, cowhide that they're using feels a lot tougher and one of the things is uh and it's not a big deal but uh as soon as i started putting on this hat within a few hours the resist all sign started to fade away and this happened to my stetson which is uh the same brand uh as the resist all as far as you know they, they finish out uh, their stuff the same and you know they they, they actually are uh, part of the same factory um now the resist all the leather it's something about it or you know the stats in whatever comes out of hatco it just doesn't stay on uh, and again that's not a really big deal but it just kind of shows the quality I've never had that happen to my American hat or my rodeo king for that matter I got to give them their credit too uh, and both of them just happen to be using lambskin so it's it's a it's it's a very uh, impressive thing that it stays on a little, apparently a little bit better with lambskin just kind of shows the quality of the leather that is used it's just going to be a little bit nicer and that's what you want also feels better on your forehead uh, now both of these brands uh, if you want I guess on their lower tier hats uh, or on some of their other hats this is a resist all it has this kind of um, like a foam sweat band uh, 
and I don't very much like that. Uh, I, I could understand what they're trying to do with that. Uh, both American and Resist All uh, has those, and I don't like it no matter which company it comes from. It just um, it doesn't feel as good, leaves a mark. You don't want something like that rubbing on your forehead as much, uh, and it never really conforms as good as leather does. Uh, it's never makes it feel like it's your hat in my personal opinion so i'm not a big fan of this deal no matter which hat it is uh pardon my uh old hat and another thing that i've noticed with uh, some of these resist all hats and i have a couple including this one that was given to me by uh, by my friend joe bradburn of the cowboy cartel group if you guys haven't checked out his channel check it out cowboy cartel he is doing amazing things as well uh, but this one has a little bit of a dip inside of it. Um, and that happened to another one of my resist all hats. And it's just, it's just, again, it's just due to that lacquer. It's, it's not as good of a quality of a lacquer. Uh, unfortunately, they're, they're just not using as good of a quality as the lacquer. So those are all the main reasons why I do love American hat companies, straw hat a lot more. Um, you know, I mean, I just showed you guys everything. Uh, now, you know, this might not really apply to some of you guys and you guys might not care, but you know, I do care about those things and, and you guys, I'm sure you could see why. Um, another thing I forgot to mention is the crown on the American hat is a little bit taller than the crown on the Resistol. Now, for some of you folks might say, hey, I like a shorter crown. And that's fine, I understand. Not everybody has the same length of head uh, or forehead, you know. So my forehead might be a little bit longer than some folks. Some folks might have shorter uh, foreheads and that's fine. But for me, I've shaped both of these hats uh, with pretty much the same depth um, and what happened when I put on my resist all not only does it not conform as well it doesn't feel as good of a quality of a hat but on top of that there's a lot of space right here because it is touching the top of my head and it's just not feeling right you know uh, it looks a little bit goofy for me, and it doesn't look like the hat properly fits, even though it does. I know this is my size, and this is this would be the best fitting uh, hat from Resist All. It's seven and a quarter. I couldn't wear a bigger size. I couldn't wear a smaller size. This is the best fitting hat, and it still fits like it's you know not right, and doesn't conform to my head real good. And I, it does leave a little bit of pressure, so I, I do get a little bit deeper of a red line. Then when I put on this hat that is a little bit of a taller crown nicer it fits more like it was made for me it almost touches my ear uh, not quiet but it sits lower on my head and kind of naturally makes the dip a little bit better and smoother and just looks much nicer and it does feel like a much higher quality hat I do feel the difference when I wear both of these hats and I do feel like the American is a much nicer quality. If you guys ever have a chance to try both of them on, you guys I'm sure will see what I am talking about. But some of you guys will like Resist All better because you know it's your grandpa's company, you know, or like your grandpa wore that brand or your father wore that brand. You know, they were big back then in, in, in the rodeo game, but the rodeo game is changing a lot and I see a lot of uh, non-sponsored rider that are not sponsored by either or of these companies choosing American hat over resist all now I'm sure there's a lot of folks that uses resist all over American um, even though they're not sponsored by either or so um, I just prefer American hat company now <clears throat> these hats are coming in at a little bit of a different price this one is two hundred dollars um, and this one is $149.99. At first, you know, you're saying $50 more for a straw hat is quite a bit of money to spend. If you're talking about a felt hat, but you're getting maybe a 40X instead of a 20X, 
for an extra fifty dollars yeah <clears throat> all day it's worth it you don't even have to think about it right but when you're talking about a straw hat fifty dollars does make a pretty big difference but honestly when you're getting a hat that you could have for two three more seasons versus a hat that you could only wear for one season and that might not feel as high for quality go with the fifty dollars more and get the american you know if i was to initially buy both of these hats or if i was to buy this one because i wanted to save the fifty dollars and i could see myself doing something like that and then i would have purchased this hat i would have been upset that I didn't buy this hat from the get-go and left this hat alone. That is my personal uh, conclusion on, on these two hats. I would definitely 100% go for the American. That is the clear winner, folks. Well, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you guys like Resist All more than American, please leave me a comment in the section below. If you guys like American more than Resist All, please leave me a comment in the section below. I want to hear about what everyone has to say. There is no wrong answers. Everybody is entitled to their opinion and what they like better.